We do continuous dress creep feed grinding on nickel alloys and are always battling burn while trying to reduce wheel consumption. What can we do? Continuous dress grinding, where basically while we're grinding, we plunge a diamond roll into the wheel to allegedly keep the wheel sharp and therefore reduce our power and heat generation in grinding is really a wonderful invention, but it can be tricky to use, and here's why. As we're grinding the workpiece, the dressing diamond plunges into the wheel. Now, it plunges in at a certain number of inches per minute or millimeters per minute, but that really doesn't mean anything to me because it really depends on the wheel RPM. So the parameter I'm interested in is not how many millimeters per minute is that diamond roll plunging into the wheel, but how many microns per revolution? So every time that wheel makes one revolution, how far has that diamond roll moved into the wheel? One of the dilemmas is, if we plunge in very fast, we have a sharp wheel, but we consume our wheel. So one of the things that grinders do who are using continuous dress is they plunge in at an extremely low speed or a low small number of millimeters or microns per revolution in order to save wheel consumption. That's a problem because instead of, instead of continuously dressing your wheel to make it sharp, you continuously dress your wheel and make it dull. So instead of calling it continuous dress grinding, you might call it continuous doling grinding. Now let's look at why. This is a chart that shows you the grinding power, the power during grinding, based on how fast or how deep we plunge the diamond roll into the workpiece. So if we plunge in at, say, 1.5 microns per wheel revolution, we generate only about 5 kilowatts of power. Of course, it depends on the grinding operation, but in this case, 5 kilowatts of power. However, if we dress at only 0.25 microns per revolution, then our grinding power is going to be upwards of 25 kilowatts. If we're generating upwards of 25 kilowatts of power, that means 25 kilowatts of heat are being generated in the grinding zone. That means more heat into the workpiece, and therefore that means more burn. However, if we dress only 0.25 microns per wheel rev, we're going to have less wheel consumption. And that's one of the dilemmas with continuous dress grinding. You want to dress very aggressively, very fast, maybe 1.5 microns per rev to keep your wheel sharp, but then you consume your wheel. On the other hand, you can dress very slow, maybe 0.25 microns per rev, save your wheel, but get a very dull wheel and generate a lot of heat. There's no simple solution, but on a lot of the continuous dress grinding operations I've worked on, if you're clever in how you mix it up, you can get a sharp wheel and reduce your wheel consumption. Sometimes you mix up your continuous dress with non-continuous dress, or maybe dressing between parts, or maybe traversing the part really fast, but dressing at a very aggressive rate to sharpen it up there. But just be careful that you don't dress your wheel dull in order to save it. 